Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I got this idea off of uh, YouTube. I watched a woman make, minus the flowers, a card using dyes from ferns. Forever ferns. But she used the dyes in just the dyes, she didn't use the stamps. So let's see what I've called. Um, they're called Forever Ferns, Forever Flourishing Dyes. I don't have them. So I went through my stash and I found some dyes that I thought I'd like. Didn't like them once they were down. Stuck some petals on them which made it look alright. So this time I have used some dyes from a retired beautiful bouquet which retired this year and I used these two dyes a leaf, both leaves and I used them which I've cut out here so they're there. And also I'm going to add some other flowers because I like them and the bow from this twine. Except I've never brought it over. I'll go and get it in a minute. And I've also used the leaf embossing folder. So to make this, the word hello has come from Good Morning Magnolia. And it's just that stamp there, which I'm using. The shape has come from Sweetly Stitched Frame dies. And I'm going to use that tiny die there. I should use my Sizzix Sidekick and cut that out once I've stamped it. I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and five eighths scored at four and one eighth but not burnished just now I've got a piece for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths I have a piece for the outside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths already embossed I have lost I did have a piece of um, I cut it out <laughs> I used it anyway I'll get another piece let me just go and get some See if that's big enough. Just that's it. <coughs> right, that'll need to be trimmed down. This needs trimming down. Then I'll tell you the size. This is two inches by four and three quarters. So this needs to be
this is two and a quarter by be four and one eighth two no two and a quarter by two and one eighth Two and one eight. <coughs> yes, that's nice. So the white piece is two inches by four and three quarters, and the mint macaron is two and one eighth by uh, yeah two and one eighth by four and seven eighths, and that will sit on there like that and I have got a piece here to cut out oh, a little bit on the side and I also have a piece of mint macaron for the flowers which will cut out using the small flower punch This is actually for sale now. Before you had to get it off uh, celebration. Off of there for um, to go with thoughtful blooms. Now I never got it off a of celebration, so I bought it this month. Right get started we need to colour this in now to do that I have got my H block which is a bit grotty but right, I've got my H block I've got three pens soft sea foam Mint macaron and pear pizzazz. All we do with the brush in is colour in a third of the block with soft sea foam. You most probably can't see that online because it's so pale. Right then a third of the block with mint macaron. Right up to the sea foam. Put on lots of it. And then the rest of the block with pear pizzazz. All the way up to the mint macaron. And then the this spritzer or a spray bottle, whatever you've got, you want to spray this. Not a lot, just a little bit, spray it all and you'll see it's all running with water. Turn it over and then place it on your card and just let it sit there. And soak into your card. Now I've got a tissue because Obviously I'm going to get little pools of water on it, which I don't want, and I'll blot them off. Well, actually, it's not too bad. You see how that's come out? A bit blotchy, <coughs> but that's fine. Shake that off to dry it out. 
You can if you want, put your heat gun on it. But I haven't got my heat gun out. But I'll put that to one side and we'll do this. So with Versafine ink and my stamp. I'm going to stamp the word hello in the middle of my scrap card. Place it on my plates. Place that on. Like that. Bring over my sidekick. This little machine, I got it for Mother's Day. Um, you can buy it in the range off Amazon. And about £34. And there's my little sentiment. Let's put this back. I think I need to sort this lot out. Laziness that is, I should really um, take the tray out, but I don't. Right, let's glue this down while well, we're still waiting for that. Corner of me pad sticking up and it's annoying me. Right, um, now this, oh, it's dry. We're going to stick onto our mint macaron piece, or mint macaron. So, and then that is going to get stuck down there and just stick it down flat. To the left, even a nice gap. Now, I've got these leaves, like I said, I've cut out three of these leaves and I did two in vellum as well. And I did two of this, the little bubbly ones. And they're all going to get stuck on there. So let's stick them all down. I'm not sticking the leaves, I'm just sticking the stems. And the reason I'm using these is because I've got impatient. I haven't got the fern dies. I will get the fern dies as I do quite like them. I haven't got them yet. 
and the stamp set. I should buy the stamp set as well. You can get them as a bundle, which I will. Um, oh no, it's these ones next. Uh, yeah, so I got too impatient waiting till I got them before I did this kind of card. But then you can do that. Find a card you like. It's a case. You haven't got the stuff. See what you can do in the with your own stash. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just take a drink. Right, with the flowers, I'm going to put them in my hand with my pencil to shape them up. And we're going to put three in a row, not in a row, in a cluster, like that there. And this is going to go there. Or should it go there? I think it will go there. Yeah. So let's glue these flowers down. Three. Now we need some a couple of dimensionals for that. to do is to put some pearls on this. Let's see if I can find the ones I use. I think it's this one. I'm going to pop a pearl in each corn, each flower. These aren't the usual pearls I use because these are on a rope. But they'll do. These are the ones I normally use. Right, now I need. My gold ones, where's my gold ones? <laughs> I thought I got my gold ones out. A little silver. Gold gems. Uh, 
Anyway, when I do find my gold gems, I will put three little gold gems like this. Oh, I found them. They're on the floor. They fell on the floor. Now, do I put three of them? I'm going to put three of these ones on. <coughs> Sorry about my cough. Film. Now my cough might get worse and I wouldn't be film at all and you won't be able to have a video for next week. Ha <sighs> feel a bit better. Alright, there it is. I will put some thread on it. I haven't got it out, I forgot. But I should put a little bow there. And you'll see it on the thumbnail. Oh, no. Go and get it. This thread is from Gaynor. She sent me this baker's twine with a gold thread running through it. up a bit because we're going to pop it under there with a bit of glue there we are hope you like that done with different leaves so if you see a card you like and you haven't got the um, stuff that that person is using or that's in the picture have a look at your stash and see what you can make using that layout these are completely two different layouts on top of the water paint hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Well like I say thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.